Hey guys, Nick, President and CEO here at Dropback TV, and today I want to be teaching you guys how you can use Twitter to grow your YouTube channel and and be a bigger brand outside of YouTube because that's very very important. If you don't have a Twitter account, make one. It's a hub for tons and tons and tons of YouTubers, viewers. And content creators alike flock to Twitter to interact and connect with each other. I myself have been using Twitter for years. I love it. I've built a great brand over there, over 16,000 Twitter followers. So uh, how did I do it? Let's go ahead and jump on into the techniques that you can use to not only grow on Twitter, but also grow your YouTube channel from that and give you a place outside of YouTube for your channel to rest. So let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, screen viewing mode and we'll be good to go. So here we are on Twitter and uh, as you can see, we're just on the Twitter homepage here if you log out. Out of Twitter this is where you'll be or if you want to log in so let's go ahead and log into my account now luckily I've got that good to go and we can go ahead and log on in so here we are on Twitter and as you can see here is everyone that I'm following and the tweets that I just made before this video and all of that stuff is all right here but this isn't where we really want to focus on I like to keep my follower number low I actually need to unfollow three people here because right now we are you know uh, right now over 50 and I always like to keep mine at 50 that's a personal preference you can follow as many people as you want. And honestly, the more people you follow in your industry, the better. So, you know, don't be afraid to pump that follower number up to, you know, a couple thousand if you have to. But keep in mind, you don't want to follow more than like 100 people a day. Because if you start to do that, things start to get really hairy and Twitter can ban you. So, um, yeah, I like to keep my followers numbers low, but it's up to you. Like, for example, I followed these two charities yesterday, which bumped my followers numbers up. As well as Barnacles and Ergasm. I followed him as well. So... I uh, did that yesterday, and because of that, I got a higher follower number than 50, but I'll work on that after this. But that's not what we want to really focus on. Well, I do recommend following and getting in touch with people in your community, whether that's gaming, whether that's Minecraft, whether that's, you know, whatever, tech, whatever it is, engage with people in your community, tweet at them and talk to them and interact with them. That's how, you know, me and Barnacles got to know each other. I just tweeted him and we got to, started talking, we hit it off and now, you know, it, that's just how it works, right? That's just how Twitter works. You can connect with people and get to know people and um, yeah, so there you go. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump back over to the main profile here, which is just twitter.com says, Nick's games for me, whatever it is for you, it's your profile URL. So once we're here, this is where we want to focus. We want a good looking banner. Now, I'm actually working on getting one of these custom designed for me right now, but as I sit, I just have this basic blue banner, and it looks good. It works, right? It's it's not too complicated, and it's not too simple, and that's what I like about it. You can kind of do whatever here, but the same things that I've said about YouTube banners, you don't want a lot of clutter, you don't want a lot of reds and things like that, apply here, right? You want cooler colors and vibes colors and uh, you don't want like text everywhere and things like that a perfect example of someone who does this really well has text in their Twitter banner but isn't overwhelmed by it is Pat Flynn here and as you can see he has a few words and stuff and it kind of explains what Pat is right he's a business owner podcaster blogger all that stuff but it's not overwhelming right it doesn't blow you away when you see it it's subtle it's inviting all of that stuff that's what I tried to do over here, and that's what my new Twitter banner will achieve. As far as your profile picture, that also wants to be fun and inviting. In my case, that might scare some people away, but I really like that picture. It's really funny to me, so I thought, why not make that my Twitter uh, you know, profile image? But you can do whatever here. I would recommend a picture of your face, of you, because it's inviting. But if you don't want to show your face online, you could just be you know, an avatar like you in Minecraft, for example, or it could be like you know, your logo or whatever you've got there. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and work on down to the real meat. And uh, it's crazy the real meat on Twitter is this stuff right here, right? This little information that we can have on Twitter right here. So we're going to go over here and hit edit profile. That'll now bring us into this where we can now edit the stuff over here. Now, as you can see, I use my real name on Twitter. If you don't use your real name, that's fine. For example, I could put Nick's games here if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Right, I, I don't want to do that. I want it to be Nick King because I want people, I like people calling me Nick, not Nick's games. So Nick, right there, Nick King, you can call me by my real name, awesome. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. That doesn't really matter. What we really need to focus on is this, our bio. Our bio is extremely important. What the bio is, all of this bio is searchable on Twitter, 
right? So, I want people to be able to find me if they search for YouTuber, for entrepreneur, for gamer, for blogger, for creator, and for president slash CEO, and for Dropback TV, which as you can see, we've got this keyword in here as well, and we'll talk about that here in a second. I want people to be able to search for all those things and find me. Does it always happen? No, but it can. You can even increase these chances by doing this right here, hashtagging them. Now, what hashtags do is make you more relevant in searching on Twitter. Now, I think this will actually put me over my um, my limit of characters here because you can only have 160 characters here, but we can try it. So we can go ahead and hit save changes and it's saved. So now these are even more searchable, these keywords here at the beginning to help people find me on Twitter. Now we can go ahead and go back to edit profile and let's talk about this right here, at Dropback TV, right? My Twitter gets a lot more traffic than Dropback TV's Twitter, but I want to draw people to Dropback TV. How do I do that? I link them at Dropback TV in the Twitter profile. For example, now if we come over here and we click this, where does it take us? Dropback TV's Twitter profile. Look at that. Follow Dropback TV on Twitter. Nevertheless, there is that, and we can go back and boom. So that promotes Dropback TV in just a little small way. I also get a lot of questions about how can I contact you privately? Well, there you go. Contact me at Nick at Crisis.tv if you want to contact me privately. And then I also link my YouTube channel. All right. Now, there was this big thing on Twitter about not putting your location in the location. I do. I put my location in location. Why? Because I want people to know where I live and things like that, like near the area, right? I don't live exactly in Knoxville, but I live around Knoxville, so I'm okay with people knowing my area and stuff like that. If you're not perfectly fine, you can leave this blank and it won't affect anything, right? Blank and you're fine. Or you could put, uh, you know, a link here or something like that. So we could put like... HTTP, like we can put my Twitch channel, for example, which I'm doing a lot better over there. So Twitch, and then we can save, and this doesn't hyperlink, right? You can't click on it, but it at least gives you that little promotion. Why don't I put a link there? For that reason, because you can't click on it. Additionally, the bigger of a city you live in, the more likely this is to help you. That's why I put Knoxville instead of uh, the little small town on the outside of Knoxville that I live on. So by putting Knoxville there, people can search Knoxville, Tennessee and say they were to search Entrepreneur Knoxville, Tennessee. I might come up because I have it here and I have it here. So there is that. And then last but not least, this is your website slash link. For you guys, this could be your YouTube channel. So I could put my Twitch here, for example. Or it could be your, you know, actual website if you've got one. It could be whatever, whatever your link is that you're trying to promote, you could put it here. But I also recommend putting one in the actual bio as well, just to maximize space. For me, that's going to be Dropback TV. So Dropback.tv. There you go. And now we can go ahead and save changes, and there you have it. That's how you can outline your Twitter profile there to help you grow on Twitter. But what about managing Twitter? We're not done yet, guys. How do I manage Twitter and uh, keep things up and running? Well, these are what these two links up here are, right? One is TweetDeck. This is how I manage everything. This is how I manage my Twitter. This is how I manage Dropback TV's Twitter, Minecraft Project Twitter, Crisis TV Twitter, Rocket.us Twitter, and the Nick and Patrick Twitter, which actually doesn't even have a thing here, right? So this is how I manage everything when it comes to Twitter, and here's actually my Twitter feed, right? So what is on the home here is right here. This is actually sponsored by Twitter. As you can see, it's at Twitter.com, and uh, it's called TweetDeck. So this is a link down below, TweetDeck.Twitter.com. You can go there, and you can sign up. with You sign in using your Twitter account and set all of this up like this if you wanted to, and uh, see your at mentions here. So this is everyone who's tweeted at me. You can see all my tweets here because I like to know who I've responded to, and that's easy to check, and all of that stuff. This is how if I want to reply to any tweets, this is how I do it. So uh, let me find a tweet that I can reply to. There we go. I'll reply to the Chase AR here, awesome Dropback TV partner, and I will say, uh, doing this in a video needed to show you can reply from at TweetDeck, right? So there we go, and now what that will do is he'll get that tweet, and uh, I can reply to any tweets. Now I only reply to tweets twice a week, uh, usually on Tuesday or Wednesday, and on the weekend, usually on a Saturday or Sunday. So that's when I reply to tweets, and I've actually not replied to any of these tweets, and we'll be able to see when I reply to tweets, because my next tip will show up right here. See all these favorites? These are people liking my videos. Every time someone likes my video, right here, this guy liked my video, I favorite it, and I I reply thank you for the like or something like that so thank you for the like it really means a lot right I have gained 
so many followers. I don't even have a number for it from just favoriting and then replying to everyone who likes my video and then sends that tweet to YouTube. To do this, you've got to have your Twitter linked with YouTube. And to do that, let's go ahead and jump up here into YouTube and I'll show you exactly where you need to go to do that. So here we are in YouTube. Sorry about that jump cut. I came over here and I couldn't find it because they moved it. So what you want to do is come up here to the picture of you or your profile picture and then click this little cogwheel and then go to connected accounts heartbeat messing up there switching me back over to the dark mode and there is that so right here Nick's games as you can see is connected you can go in disconnect and all that stuff but we don't want to do that and that's why when someone likes my video I get a tweet about it nevertheless let's go ahead and uh, move on from tweet deck this is how I use to reply to tweets interact with the community and all of that but how do I send out new tweets usually unless it's a reply not through tweet deck I use a little app that for ten dollars a month I can do over schedule two hundred tweets across two uh, like twelve accounts, and I use this to manage both Drawback TV's Twitter and my own personal Twitter. And uh, here it's called Buffer. BufferApp.com. It's linked down below. They're an amazing company, and I use them to manage all of my social media on Twitter. I don't use Facebook. This is actually the only social media I use is Twitter. And um, for example, if I wanted to schedule a tweet, I could go in here and say. Uh, Modtastic. Let me go over here to the video so I can actually see. I can say like Modtastic episode 27 is live and it is hashtag hammer time. So the reason we did that, we built a hammer in Minecraft and bada bing bada boom. There you go. And it's also the name of it, all of that. We copy that and we paste it here. Now here's another trick. As long as you have more than 27 characters left after your tweet is done, you can add an additional thumbnail image. This just makes things look better. So I will go ahead and add the Modtastic thumbnail in here and it will make the tweet just look a lot better. I can now hit add to queue and it will tweet at 2.45 p.m. today. You can go to my Twitter, twitter.com slash nixgames. If this video is live, you'll be able to see this exact tweet. We can actually go over here to schedule and see when it's supposed to post every day right here for example today is a Wednesday so it's gonna post at 2 56 a.m. 6 11 a.m. 12 24 p.m. 2 45 p.m. 6 7 p.m. and 10 9 p.m. I have where I tweet more, less through the week more on a little more on Friday and then even more on the weekends why because most people are on Twitter on the weekends and that's when there are the most eyes so I want to put them out the most tweets and through the week here there are less eyes on Twitter so I tweet out less Friday, there are also more tweets that go out because, guess what? More people are on Twitter on Friday as well. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are tweeters' pick peak days, so I make sure that I get as many tweets out there in front of people on those days as I can. So this is what I use for both Dropback TV and my own Twitter scheduling, right? For both Dropback TV Twitter and my own Twitter, this is what I use. And uh, I'm actually about to fill my buffer, so tweets will be scheduled through for the entire week. I schedule tweets once a week, and this does automates Twitter for the entire week as far as me posting new content. And then twice a week, I go back and reply to all of my tweets. So that's how that works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you can use Twitter to grow. Make sure you optimize your Twitter bio here. And then uh, as well as, you know, links and things like that. Make sure you got a good looking banner, a good looking profile image. And you can use an app like TweetDeck to keep everything organized. And if you want to automate Twitter, which I would recommend, you can use Buffer to do that. There's a free program on Buffer. I believe you can schedule seven tweets with that that's way too little for me because I only like to use it once a week so I do upgrade for $10 a month and uh, yeah there you guys have it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to Dropback TV's channel if you haven't already we make awesome videos every single week I'm Nick King I'm Nick King president and CEO here at Dropback TV and I am out guys peace